the first strawberry retold by Joseph Josephine Bukow pictures by Ann Vakata Narrated by Lindy. The man grew angry. I am hungry, he said in a cold voice. Do you expect me to eat flowers? No, the wife, too, became angry. She said she had picked those flowers to share their beauty with her husband. Your words hurt me, she said. I will live with you no longer. She turned to the west and began to walk toward the sun. Her husband followed. He stepped were too quick. He could not catch her. He called her name, but she could not hear him. He went on as fast as he could go, but his wife was much faster. The sun watched as her husband followed her. The sun saw how sorry the man was and took pity on him. Are you st still angry with your wife? Asked the sun. No, the man said. I was foolish to speak angry words, but I could not catch her to tell her I'm sorry. Then I will help you, said the sun. The sun shone down on the earth in front of the woman where the light shone. Raspberries grew up, berries were ripe and looked good to eat, but the woman paid no attention to them and continued walking. The sun tried again and shone down on the blueberries and grew. The ghastly bright in the sunlight but the woman paid no attention to them. She only kept walking toward the west, leaving her husband's father behind. Now the sun tried a third time. When the beam touched the earth, blackberries grew. They were dark and plump, but the woman grew angry and was too great, and she did not see them. At last the sun tried its hardest to shine its light down on the grass right in front of the woman's feet. The strawberries appeared. They gl glowed like fire in the grass, and the woman had stopped, and she saw them in front of her. She knelt down and plucked one of them and bit into it and she had never tasted anything like it before. The sweet list remained now happy she and her husband had been together before the quarrel. I must gather some of the fruit for my husband, she said, and began to pick the berries. She was still picking them when the man caught up to her. Forgive me for my my hard words, he said to her, and then she answered to him by sharing the sweetness of the strawberries. So it was the strawberries that came into the world.
To this day, when the Cherokee people eat strawberries, they are reminded to always be kind to each other, to remember that friendship and respect are as sweet as the taste of ripe red berries. How did the strawberries come to be? The legend began long, long, long ago when the first men and women have quarreled. These women leaves in anger, but the son takes pity on the repented husband seems to tempt. Wife retreats only with a couple of lemons. The Cherokee pea People tasted raspberries, celebrating its natural beauty and sunlight, de de dedicated to choice, the first strawberries.